Janet Kataham Seven, the Minister of Education and Sports, is worried by the parents who have completely failed to embrace homeschooling, which she says is safe for their children. It is surprising to see the parents completely abdicate their role and their responsibility in their children's education. I think that it is amazing to see that the school now has become the safe haven for our children from their homes. Because you know that there has been an outcry out there that the schools should open because the young girls have got pregnant, because the young girls have got problems, the schools must open. Museven says they closed schools and sent children back home, thinking they would be safe at home than at school. Unfortunately, she reveals that parents have continuously pressured government to reopen schools, saying children, most especially girls, have become pregnant during the lockdown. But we send children from schools so that they can be safe at home. And I've been saying many times that education is a shared responsibility. It can't just be a responsibility for the state, for the Ministry of Education and Schools, and give no responsibility whatsoever to the parents. But the parents do not want that responsibility presently. The minister who was as the first lady insists that the government closure of schools at the outbreak of COVID-19 did not mean that even learning was stopped because children at home are having lessons under the supervision of their parents. That education is going on, but it is happening in the home for a change. Maybe God is giving our families an opportunity to play a role in, the, in our children's education, which is what our parents don't want to do. She has been officiating at the virtual public lecture held at Uganda Christian University main campus. She attended the session virtually from Set House. It ran on the theme, Christian Family in the Postmodern Era. Dr. James Magara, the UCU Dean of Dentistry, says he was one of the first Ugandans to test the homeschooling module when their children were still young. My wife and I were among the pioneers of homeschooling environment in Uganda. We got a lot of flake for it, but looking back, I'll not do things any different. And it's one of the best decisions you ever made. Um, this movement is growing today, and it's been fueled by the lockdown. Uh, parents are more and more seeing their responsibility. Um, and uh, I think this has also shown us that education belongs more to the family than to the state. Education is more of a family function in the state. And as families, you make a mistake when we surrender and give up everything to the state of the school. He has, however, cautioned parents whose children are having online lessons with the use of smartphones to keep a keen eye on them even during the progress of the lessons. My wife and I believe one of the greatest, greatest investments we ever did for our children was to homeschool them. We did that for three years, we never regretted it. Uh, it laid such a solid foundation for their lives. Today they are grown up adults and uh, they walk with the Lord. But we did it at a time when we realized we were losing them. It was not an easy decision, but we saw we were losing them. We were teaching them things at home, they would take them to school, everything would be undone. And we were fighting a battle. However, for Bedizaya Namjehe, the UCU good president for Kampala Campus says homeschooling is favoring the children and parents in urban settings and those who are financially stable. For example, I come from Botanija. If a parent in Botanija begins to raise a child in home-based education, the issue at hand is most likely the child is going to grow up when they are rude because the parents are disturbed. They have domestic violence in their homes. So it doesn't really rhyme in for them. That's why they will go to, they will go to school and then online education will have to find them fetching water. And then when they don't fetch water, because they have a class, they're going to be insulted by their parents. The keynote address has been given by the Justice of the Court of Appeal, Catherine Babgemereri.
Justice Montgomery has shown dismay to the hostility between the parents, to the fact that they have failed to agree on how to safely keep their children. During this COVID-19 pandemic and school lockdown, families appeared to look like they were stranded with each other. We have papas and mamas out there who are so hostile to each other, they are fighting each other all the time, and where they can cope with each other, they just appear to have no idea how to live with their children 24-7 without school. She cites the reports that revealed that only in the Nango sub-region there are 23,000 school-going girls who have become pregnant during the lockdown. As a result, there is a high incidence of domestic and gender-based violence reported and the girl child has borne the highest brunt. It is reported that in Lamo region, there are over 23,000 girls of school going age who have become pregnant. And some of them were made pregnant by their close relatives, as close as brothers and fathers. The former UCU Vice Chancellor, Canon Dr. John Senyun, has faulted the schools that are putting a fence on the children after getting into the school compounds to the extent of denying them access to their parents. And the school quite often fires the parents once you take your children to school. And that's why I like your bold, uh, your bold step to say home parent. Because schools somehow have become God's in their own right. The government should come and bridge that gap. Eh? The parents are at home, the parents are at work, the children are at home, so the government should bridge that gap. So according to me, the government is the one that is to blame for this issue. <laughs>